What's up, you savages? Here we are for day 11 of our 30 days of at-home kettlebell workouts. Today, we are doing a single kettlebell routine here. So we're going to work through five sets to kick it off, rotating through the stations here. So we have four different stations. At each station, we're going to do 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So the goal is to choose a weight, which will allow you to move for the entirety of each 40-second working window. So this first movement, we're going to do a goblet reverse lunge. So I'm holding the kettlebell by the horns, keeping it right under the chin. And I want to focus on keeping that torso as vertical as possible, making sure we get a full range of motion. So back knee touches the ground and front shin is vertical or near vertical as we step into that lunge. Really focusing on squeezing the quads and glutes and core. Next station coming up here, we're going to do some alternating kettlebell swings. So we want to think of all the same rules of our normal swing with two hands, but we're just going to switch hands for each swing. So we get a little bit of that offset load to further work the core. Super fun movement. If you're not comfortable with the alternating of hands, just do a normal swing. And then we're going to go into a seated press. So we're going to, instead of the bottom up press, we're just going to let that bell rest in the rack here. Again, trying to keep that torso vertical. So we're getting core work here and then a nice strong lockout. I would switch hands about 20 seconds in on the 40 seconds of work for each set. In the description of the video, I will also type out the workout to make it easy to read or see, I should say. There we go, strong press. We wanna choose a weight that'll allow us to continue to move on the 40 seconds of work. Even if we need to have two different weights, that's fine. Okay, then we're gonna go into an alternating bent over row. So we're gonna get some of the back muscles here because who doesn't wanna get those back muscles? So keeping that back flat, I'm just gonna switch on the ground there for each rep. And I, like, I, I went with a little lighter bill today and just tried to get more reps. I just felt like getting a little more conditioning blended in with the strength work today. Okay. That's our five sets. We're going to work through those four stations five times. So after the row, you would start back at the top. After you guys complete the five sets, we're going to have a cash out today. Starting out here with 100 sit-ups. So I want to touch the ground behind me and then touch my shoes. So I get a nice full range of motion. Work those abs all the way through their entirety. We're going to go for 100. So just kind of, you know, if you had to break that into sets of 10 or 20, whatever it takes. And then we're going to work them biceps because who doesn't want to have some awesome looking arms, right? Beach season's coming. We're quarantined. We might as well get beach ready here. So we're going to go ahead and work through 50 kettlebell swings, or sorry, uh, bicep curls right after the 100 sit-ups. I'm just going to hold it by the horns. Again, you don't want to get too much swinging. You want to think of squeezing your glutes and your stomach to get some core work in there as well. And then we're going to pose it up a little bit, because why not, huh? Let's make sure those muscles are coming together. All right, guys, have some fun with that today. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to post how this workout went, just go ahead and do it in the comments here. And that was day 11. I look forward to seeing you guys for day 12. And smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Goodbye.